Oh yeah, sexy biscuits. Nice. Hey YouTube, Post 1975 and welcome to another comparison video. Why another one? Because I absolutely love doing these videos and it's an excuse to play my Mega Drive Mini and hell, it's an excuse to play my At Games um, HD Mega Drive because I don't hate it. But it is interesting to see how the emulation on it fares to the emulation on the Mega Drive Mini because obviously the Mega Drive Mini is done by M2 whereas At Games was going to do it originally. Yes, this is the 2017 2018 at games mega drive so i understand that there is a unit after this where you can update the firmware which apparently because i'm still trying to get my hands on one of these units apparently fixes everything anyway so this is mickey mouse castle of illusion so I'll, I'll be loading um i'll be using my cartridge and what you do is if you put your cartridge into this at games mega drive it dumps the rom so it would be the actual japanese cartridge because it's from my japanese mega drive collection because i had this back in the day on my japanese mega drive and then we'll be comparing it to the uh, mega drive mini and i'll set the language to japanese so that will also be the japanese Wrong. Now, quickly, this game was released in 1990. It was a hell of a big deal back then because it showed, you know, what a leap the Mega Drive was with the graphics of this game, the animation, the things like Mickey kind of, you know, trying to regain his balance when he's too close to the edge and it was a big deal because um, Disney had to approve pretty much everything you know when whenever something was changed or made on this game I had to go to Disney and they had to approve it uh, I had it back in the day but initially I borrowed it off my mate at school um, when he had his uh, Japanese Mega Drive as after me may I add because the magazines even when it was an import gave it like me machines gave it 96 or something percent and said it was fantastic and this was pre Sonic so this was a big deal this was one of the first massive massive you know, amazing looking platformers and basically I borrowed off and played it and after two days that was it I had to uh, import my own copy because it was fantastic the other reason I want to compare this load this is because um, obviously it's not as fast and flat it's a different kind of platformer so it's not as full-on fast and stuff like that as Sonic so it'll be interesting to see how um, this one compares animation wise anyway once upon a mouse starts off like your standard uh, obviously it's Japanese Disney cartoon I don't know if that music's been correctly emulated or it's just bad music, but this brings back some memories. Uh, obviously the story is Minnie's been stolen by the witch, Miserable. I see what you did there, Disney, and taken to the castle of Illusion, where Mickey goes there to find her, because uh, Miserable wants to steal her youth. And he talks to the person who owns the castle, and the guy says, basically, you need to catch, get these seven cats. These, there's Miserable, see what you did there. Um, seven rainbow gems, and that's it. You can jump to kill people by clasping them with your ass, yep. Um, and you can throw the things you pick up. And the art style is absolutely fantastic. And yeah, and this is on the Master System as well, which to be fair is a wicked game. Oh look, did you see that on the left there? Little bit of um, glitching. Castle of Illusion, first of a series of games that all end in of illusion. Uh, World of Illusion is also on this machine and um, I thought I had that but when I bought it from the charity shop they put the wrong game in it. Right, anyway, look at this. Everything about this game is designed to look like a Disney you know, cartoon or feel like a Disney cartoon. So it does. You've got a sound test, so A shot, B shot, C jump action. There we go. It's got normal practice or hard. We're going to go with normal. I'm assuming practice means stuff's missing. I don't know. I did complete this back in the day. There we go. Feel free to translate yourself. Pretty sure he's just saying something like Minnie's in there, Miserable's in there, get her Mickey, or Miserable's gonna suck a youth out of her like that movie Life Force. That's exactly what you're saying. Yeah, that movie Life Force with the space vampires. It's all on you, Mickey. Oh, look at that. So various characters in this are gonna be lifted from various Disney cartoons. There you go. Told you, he plasters them with his ass. Stunning visual still, if you ask me. But 
you go, it's got a weird Doctor Who thing going on now, see? Because the next door will have something different. Anyway. Right. Jump. Jump, hold down and you, uh, you do your ass move, which gives you higher jumpage. Parallax. I would like more Parallax in the background, but this is 1990. This is like two years into the Mega Drive in Japan. And let's be honest, for the first sort of six or eight months in Japan, they released bollocks all, didn't they? But I can't stay mad at you, Japanese Mega Drive. The animation, look. And watch. It's stuff like this was a big deal. And the whole point was to show you what, you know, they really wanted to push it out and show you what the difference between this and 16, 16, 8 bit games were. Music sounds alright. I always say that, but then you've got to do, listen to it on, um, you know, Mega Drive Mini. Apples, one, two, three, four, five. I got one of my five a day, now the government can shut up whining at me. And I threw one. There you go, your items, your lives, your power and all that stuff uh, is at the bottom. So, it does exactly the same as jumping on them, it just means you don't have to time it. Oh look! There we go, tiles are in shit. Don't catch the rope! Ooh, you can't catch the rope from down there. Oh yeah, you can. That's a bit... I think that's the actual game, to be fair, not, um, you know, the emulation on this thing. If the music is broke, remains to be seen. It's uh, still quite nice. So, yeah, I cannot explain to you what happened to the mushroom. Oh, he was hiding. What a big deal this was, you know, when, when we got it. Oh, you got a duck and fire as well. Ooh, strategy. Keep rocking shorts and nothing but shorts. Yoink. So yeah, you really would have thought this was oh my god, it's like being in a Disney cartoon. Oh, underneath. Fire then. See, I don't just hate people, I hate plants. I hate everything. Oh, that's oh boss, is it? I don't know. No! And this and this stage? No, it's breaking it up. Wow. His ass is surprisingly devastating. So yeah, it's far more sedate experience than Sonic, but you gotta remember what platform games are out at this point on the Mega Drive. Oh look, a bit of glitch in there. It's my Tarzan moment. Is that gonna kill me? No, but that's early. What if I fall off? Come on, you could have put some Tarzan noises in. It will kill me. I thought it was... Oh, that'll be interesting to see. Oh, look at that. If that is the actual game or emulation. Reasons like this, I do. Oh, Indiana Jones. I was supposed to go in the hole. Hey, it was uh, awkward. There's another one. Why don't you just pick up that one? Then you've got like loads of ammunition and shit. This, I remember this back in the day, seeing this in magazines and just thinking, oh my god. Oh, words very close to that effect. Look at that. Only this one doesn't want to move. See what I mean about the bad guys? They're all just so Disney. Look, go backwards as well, not just forwards. That's health, by the way. You probably already realised that. I'm going to tell you anyway. Look, half a web. Oh, shies and balls. Look at his little face when he's fallen clearly to his death. Am I back at the start? Maybe I'll just keep going this way. Maybe I'll get a white stick. Yeah, I'm going this way. Oh, I'm not. Hey, yes, I am. This is stunning. Again, back in the day, this would have blown your mind. Right. No! Thank you. No! Ah, fuck, I forgot. You fall through the leaves. God, it's been a lot of wet dream in this room. 
obviously the music changes to its level as well. Then after this, there was Fantasia. The less we talk about that, the better. I own it. I bought it when we were in America before knowing anything about it. And yeah, what a waste of holiday money that was. Yoink! Generally regarded as one of the worst games on the Mega Drive. Seriously. Stay! There we go. Oh, I'm so tense and pensive. Don't come up. Yoink! I'm assuming I could drop down there. Oh, fudge knockers. Well, there you go. Game over. That was a bit of an appalling gameplay, but it cuts me off nicely to see what it looks like on the Mega Drive Mini. So here we are in the menu of my Mega Drive Mini, as I always like to say, so I'm going to say it again. What a nice place to be, visually and acoustically. Anyway, look, there's Mickey. Box art is exactly the same as my Japanese box art um, that I, well, just opened to put the characters in my At Games Mega Drive. Let's have a look at this. Hello. I love that music there. Right, so... One thing I will say, the, the settings on my TV, Once Upon a Mouse, uh, are exactly the same. I have not changed them, but I do notice immediately uh, that the, while both systems, you know, both these systems put out 720 HD, the app game seems far more washed out with the colours. I don't know if you're going to notice that because of the way I catch, capture it, and also, how do they manage to twirl that much without throwing up? It must be a rodent thing. Because that's right. If you stop to think about it, Mickey is a rodent. Oh no, it's miserable. Oh, see what you did there. Where did she put her? Run, Mickey, run! Music sounds better, I'll say that. But having said that though, it's not amazing music. I know they're trying to introduce a sense of threat or peril here, but it's not amazing music here. Anyway. No glitching on the left there, so immediately that shows up some sort of emulation issue with the At Games Mega Drive. I don't hate it, by the way. I, and also, that's why I do these videos. It's fun. Right, uh, the 1990 Walt Disney Company, Source Code, 1990 Sega, and stuff. Right, press start. Okay, uh, press start. Yeah, so the colour seems far more rich on this. Don't, like I said, I don't know if you're going to notice that but yeah we'll go with normal as well shall we try some sound no we just pressed start and we went straight into it definitely better color killer mickey they're just military yeah they'd be useless in a war there we go once again, I cannot tell you what a big deal this was graphically when I first played it as a kid compared to every other game I played up to this point that was a platformer. Jump. Oh, shizen balls. That was mean. It's nothing to do with the game. Right. Yeah, music's better. And in, in game music is nice music. I'll load it up. I'm gonna save them for the plan. See, I remember from the last time I played it. A lot of self-aware fauna. I want them. Yay. It is nice music. Once you're in game. I'm a death machine. Yeah. Don't fuck with the rodent. Or is a rodent and a rat? And a mouse is something else. I don't know. I'm not Bill Oddie. Thank God. Oh, lucky he didn't shoot just there. That would have been awkward. I'm assuming you have to jump on something there to get them. I don't know. See, don't kill everything. Just move quicker. Yeah. You know that one of your five a day may be good for you bad for everyone else. Ah, he's I mentioned that, yep, yeah, that's the game engine then. 
I'm friggin' Tarzan. I'm not sure how I did that that time. But I can't complain because, you know, it's a really, really, really dark early game, isn't it? I know that they had to do some, you know, poke and jiggery to do stuff with it because it was quite a small cartridge. I saw a video on it. They did some stuff to, you know, improve the animation and things like that that involved tricks and stuff. I'm not doing it justice. Just... That's the bit that scares me because the leaves move. Now I've worked it out. Yeah, I can't remember whose video it was, but... What propels these leaves? The Green Brigade would love it, wouldn't they? Woohoo! An apt noise for Mickey, I feel, there. Oh, those little bastards. Oh, bollocks, I wasn't paying attention to my health. It's a tad, and I, you know, I'm not saying I'm any good at games, because I'm not any good at games, but it's a tad trick, and I remember this stage. Yoink! Hello? Can't improve or increase the size of your bar. Oh, ah! Uh. So, you know, just thought I'd let you know. Hang on a minute, I didn't hit it. I, he wasn't going to kill me, but, you know, my, my pitching arm, for want of a better descriptive term. Oh, fuck knockers. Yeah, my pitching arm meant, therefore, he entered my hit detection. Obviously, we got a little bit further than we did before. Oh, it's all creepy and, and, and scary weather and stuff. Hold me, I'm scared. Oh, ghost mushrooms. You know those shrooms? They're like ghost shrooms. So, I'm going to sum up here. Music's perfect, there is no glitching. The scrolling just seems to be that way because it's an old game. Who knew? But also the colour. The colours, man. Uh, freaking ghosts. Oh, I see what you did there. Yeah, the colours are way better on this one. I never really noticed that before. Okay. Oh, knackers. That was cool. But yeah, so basically, do you know what? The the, the mini does it again. Better colour, better sound, uh, and fixes the fault of the emulation from, from the Atkins Mega Drive. Anyway, as always, I'd love to know what you think. Is it that much of a big deal? Is it not a big deal? And, you know, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you later.